2020 was a year unlike any other. Businesses adapted, and they found new ways not to just survive, but thrive. Workers reskilled, upskilled, and pressed on. COVID-19 might have changed all of our lives, but it definitely did not change our ambition. Our global partners believe in Singapore. That's why Zoom is setting up a HQ, an R&D centre and a data centre here. PNG, with their iFuture program, will use Singapore to build their digital capabilities. Google believes in Singapore too, so with their Skills in Nation program, they will equip about 3,000 Singaporeans with digital skills. So we are grateful to have done well in 2020. Last year, we attracted 17 billion in fixed assets investments and nearly 7 billion in total business expenditure. We created over 19,000 new jobs with an expected contribution of 31 billion in value added per annum. These results highlight Singapore's strength and resilience as a place to do business and as a place for opportunity for Singaporeans. This is where businesses thrive, where workers do their best work, and where our dreams turn into reality. We may be a small country, but our healthcare companies have made big strides in the global fight against COVID-19. Duke and US and Arcturus have launched clinical trials for a COVID-19 vaccine. Singapore also co-chairs the Friends of the COVAX facility with Switzerland. By lending our support to vaccine multilateralism, we hope to ensure access to safe and effective vaccines for all. Singapore also manufactures a wide range of biomedical products for the global market. Looking ahead, Singapore will be investing $25 billion in research and innovation capabilities. With the expansion in R&D activities, we have seen the emergence of new and exciting job opportunities in healthcare. Ravi and Siki from Thermo Fisher Scientific will share more. At Thermo Fisher Scientific, we work closely with government agencies to help to further product development for the life science and diagnostic sectors. We're proud to be at the heart of the pandemic responding to the crisis. Aside from manufacturing the QPCR test kits, we've also been actively ramping up our freezer production to support the COVID vaccine storage. The upcoming facility of two new sterile filling lines aims to extend capacity to the Asia-Pacific region for the development of therapies and vaccines. As we are dealing with a pandemic, time is of the essence. We offer new COVID-19 tests for symptomatic and asymptomatic testing, as well as new solutions for the co-detection of COVID-19 and influenza viruses. What keeps me motivated is working with the best in class from various disciplines, from R&D, manufacturing, regulatory, and many others. Our ability to leverage the diverse expertise across the company is key to sustain innovation. This ensures that cutting-edge products are developed and brought into the market in a timely manner. I'm super encouraged by our ongoing efforts and we will continue to support the production of therapeutics and vaccines in this region and beyond. Singapore's manufacturing sector is leading the way in Industry 4.0 transformation. Strengthening our position as a leading industrial hub for companies worldwide. We are the fourth largest exporter of high-tech products in 2019 with the sector making up around 20% of Singapore's GDP. We have also seen median wages increasing steadily by about 20% in the last five years. Singapore is working with the World Economic Forum to deploy Siri as an international benchmark to future-proof manufacturing around the world. Let's meet Chok and Katrin from Mayban to see how Singapore companies are upskilling employees tap on the latest Industry 4.0 technologies. Industry 4.0 is a new wave in manufacturing. It is all about using modern smart technology and integrating them into factories to make processes more efficient. We believe the iSmart factory is the factory of the future. It is a high-tech digitized system that not only has the ability to communicate tasks to one another, but also visualize, analyze, and predict patterns. Part of our R&D fund last year went into setting up a learning centre to retrain our employees with new tech skills. I find it very meaningful to train and upskill, especially our new senior staff. In the past, our factory system needs to be inspected and reported manually every two hours by our QA team. 
Now, with the iSmart Quality paperless system, the data can be digitally recorded and plotted into the process control chart. We've made one starting the iSmart factory model in Singapore. It allows us to develop and stabilize the necessary systems and programs first before exporting to different countries. When you work in tech, you have the opportunity to shape the future. It's no wonder jobs in tech remain some of the fastest growing in Singapore. Companies like Google, Shopee, Riot Games and Rakuten are also all still actively hiring. Digital jobs such as cloud developers and cybersecurity specialists made up about a quarter of total jobs created in 2020. In Singapore's vibrant tech ecosystem, local companies and MNCs play a complementary role in empowering a future-ready workforce. This not only creates business opportunities for large companies, but it also allows our local enterprises to upskill and create more jobs for Singaporeans. Let's speak now to Kevin and Joanna from Microsoft Singapore to see how they are closing the skills gap and enhancing employability. Reflecting upon the last 30 years, I'm very proud of our achievement in enabling the digital transformation of organization, in closing the widening skills gap, and to be able to create a more sustainable impact to society. Our desire is to be able to nurture future-ready talents, which is why we launched a joint national initiative, hashtag GetReadySG, with an aim of upscaling, placing and creating 10 enable jobs. Microsoft aims to leverage digital innovation for a more inclusive society. In Singapore, we saw the need for us to narrow the widening gap of technology adoption, particularly around our senior citizens, which is why we partner IMDA in running our our virtual digital clinics. So through this series, uh, we demoed to the senior citizens how they can easily use applications in their mobile phones, on the web, and stay connected during this period of time. It's also very heartwarming to know that a lot of people out there are looking to learn more and embracing technology to help improve their day-to-day -day lives. Our success depends highly on our ability to engage the whole partner ecosystem to drive those innovation and create value for our customers. Singapore is diversifying its economy into new growth areas, creating a more resilient future economy. German indoor farming startup Eneva is setting up a global R&D centre here, looking to reduce energy and increase yields of indoor farms in Singapore. Hyundai Motor Group is driving smart mobility and clean energy solutions for the future from their latest human-centred innovation centre in Singapore. Corporates are also starting entirely new businesses through corporate venturing to drive growth. In fact, over 40 corporate ventures are contributing to the innovation-driven economy. That is why EDP has partnered companies in the early stages of venture building to incubate ideas, lend down networks and provide financial risk sharing. Alberto and Cheng Peng from Schneider Electric will now share how corporate venturing seeds new growth and create opportunities for Singaporeans. Corporate venturing is the best way to accelerate disruptive innovation for Schneider Electric and our customers, allowing us to put the right team, governance, incentives, and agility in place to build new disruptive businesses, which otherwise could be hard within a large corporation. We are launching this venture first in Singapore that will bring power equipment, software and services in a consumption-based model as a service. I was involved as a core member of the new venture during the three-month incubation process where we carried out customer and product development and built prototypes to test market reception to potential solutions. Through our customer interviews, we identified key pain points in the market corresponding to the management of power and cooling infrastructure. For me personally, the most exciting part of a new corporate venture creation will be the impact and innovation we are able to drive. Singapore is the perfect hub for us to incubate, launch and test new technologies and business models to later expand into the region and globally. So what are you looking forward to in 2021? For me, 
I'm looking forward to us emerging stronger from a very difficult 2020. You have seen the determination of our workers. You have seen how companies have adapted and thrived. And from our results, you have seen others place their confidence in Singapore. Looking ahead, there will be more competition for investments. Companies are reviewing their plans. They may take longer to decide, they may be more fearful to invest. But we will press on. We have strengths in digital capabilities, in innovation, in talent, and in connectivity. Here, we have something special. Together, we are unstoppable.